Hello, and welcome back to Anime Date Night. I am Corbin. Hey guys, Madison here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we just finished watching Mushiko Tensei Season 1, Episode 20. Um, and so we are going into Episode 21. I understand that this is kind of like the beginning of the, uh, the finale of the... Season 1 has kind of like a three-part finale, so... Yeah. We mentioned that we were going to possibly have a friend join us. He is a wee bit camera shy, so he decided to opt out. Uh, but he'll be joining us after we finish recording to go over just the the brain explosion that I, I feel like is imminent. Um, yes. But Aries known us for long enough where he knows how invested I get and how intrigued Corbin gets. Yes. Um, so, And a lot of people in the comments have been telling us that episode 21 is... Is a real good one, so I'm I'm really excited. My my expectations are are pretty high, um, and even though our friend will not be joining us, he will most importantly be liking and subscribing. <laughs> uh, and you should too. Shut the fuck. This guy. Um. So the last thing we saw, Zanoba. Yes. Zanoba. The figurine fan. Yes, I keep like making these references to other anime, but he reminds me of Gizmo from Yu-Gi-Oh! Because he's just like so, <laughs> you know, he's just like really tall and he's got that really intense like... You know, he kind of reminds me of the uh, bug dude in terms of looks from... Uh, yeah, the... Oh gosh, um, not Weevil! Yes, Weevil! Oh my gosh, okay. Um, it's the glasses and the bowl haircut. Y you know what? That's I can see it. It does it every time. So Specifically we... those two things. Yes. But Pax is trash. Oh, yeah. Pax that, is... Um, but they fucked off. They were sent... Into exile. Some, somewhere else doing study abroad. Ah, uh, yes. Genobia. Escaping accountability. Classic yeah. nobility right there. But the next episode is called Turning Point 2. That's crazy. I'm freaking out a little bit because... Turning Point 1 was the, uh, the man of disaster. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, if I'm recalling correctly, shit popped off at the first Turning Point. You remember when they were gonna go to the Magic University, Madison? That was before Turning Point 1. They you remember when Sylvie was learning how to use magic? Yeah. Oh, we've come so far, you guys! The whole story took an entirely different route yeah. at point one. What's so. that saying? If you want to make the universe or God laugh, tell them your plans. We are going into episode 21. Thank you guys so much for your various comments, for you know engaging with us up to this point, and for tolerating my shenanigans. Um, and my chicanery. Because I am invested, you guys. Um, I think that'll do it for me. Maybe what about you? Honestly, I have nothing more to say. I am so excited for okay. what's going to uh, what's going to happen. So let's do the thing. Okay, starting snow. Dragon. Is that the dragon guy from? Whoa, that's Rubyard. Eris. Is that Eris? That is Eris and Ruyard. Whoa! Is he throwing up blood? Whoa! I doubt Paul did this. Stop it. No, it looks like he's just kind of going over life. Jeez. Was that a hole in his stomach? Wow! Hold on, pause. 50, se 50 seconds. We didn't even get a minute in. Um, what? That started off so damn strong. That? So we're already going in a radically different direction. Jeez. Was that the same dragon guy from when they attacked Ghislaine? 
Or no. not attack. Well, yeah, he attacked Ghislaine. No, because the, the person who attacked Ghislaine had, like, a, a mask on. Um. Oh, gosh. Now I want to go back and rewatch it. Yeah. We'll, when we edit, we'll definitely, uh, we'll go back to the turning point one. Um. But I feel like we saw this dude, um, he was, like, staring down a dragon in turning point one. He was, he was, like, there because we touched base on Kishirika Kishirisu. Um, what, was he one of the big deals? They, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Holy shit. I just, I just feel like we've seen, it was something about, like, the, uh, patterns around his eyes to, like, resemble dragon scales. And then I remember, like, at a volcano, uh, a dude with a dragon pattern was staring down a dragon, and I was like, oh, shit. Um, oh, because the, the dragon was testing him. Was it testing him? I think it was one of those, like, eye contact situations where it's like, mm -hmm. who's going to bend first? There it is. Stare down. Oh. Um, wow. They just touched bait. Wow, so I guess we're meeting up with this this, this Joko over here. Play? Yes. Okay. It is 50 seconds in. Play. And we are going back. Find out how we got there. We're in a mountain range. Look at him making a water. Yay, they heal heal, the oxen! Healing the calf. That's, that's amazing. It's a good way to keep your equipment going good. Yeah, so they don't have to carry it. Did Paul give them all of that, or did they buy it? Uh, I think they bought the oxen. They, they acquired the oxen, I think, some point in the Sharona came in because they didn't have it before. Look at the baby. Yeah. And like another distinctive uh, community. Another training montage, or not training, traveling montage. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay, that sounded like a Pokemon. Dragon. Dragons! Yo! Mm-mm! I wouldn't. Nope. Mm -mm. We're not about that life. So beautiful as always. I love that nice guy. Mm -hmm. I do. Oh, they're training. I can hear the, uh, there they, yep, there they are. Jeez, she's moving. <gasps> she went for his. Yo! Hey. She didn't give a fuck. Do you remember when it was a huge deal that she landed the hit? Yes. Oh my gosh! Bruh! Look at that spear work, man. Bruh! Eris ain't no bitch! Nope. Don't think you should go hunting dragons, though. No. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. If dragons ain't bothering you, you leave them the hell alone. Oh, that reminds me of when Lilia brought him towels after he trained with Paul yes. with Sophie. I think she already was. Well, she's Is she graduating? Yeah, but like, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, if beating Ruyard was ah! called for becoming a warrior, there'd be so very. She's blushing. We're not doing this shit today. Let's get the fuck We're not doing this today. Off of me. Come on. God dang it. Why do you ruin everything? Mm-hmm. It's what the fuck you get. And it means you can't make a child sad either. Be careful, Iris. Yo, she's so happy. She's really happy. I love, like, the blush across her cheeks. I love how anime does that. Like, those subtle ways of conveying emotion. Oof. 
No. <laughs> or or we could not. So so eager to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Yeah. Aw, oh, they're vlogging. Yeah, you remember those? I remember those. Wow. The technique god. Well, that just that would stop. What do they see? Whoa! Whoa! We got real tense, real quick. There's nothing there. Not to them. They can sense something. I'm not looking for Yeah, I'm like trying to find a silhouette. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why'd the oxen look? That's a masked person. But it wasn't the same masked person. Yeah, no. the person had short hair. It reminded me of that chick from Full Metal. Mm. Don't look back, bro. Mind your business. Mind your whole entire business. It is free to stay in your lane. This looks luck, huh? Don't. Just keep walking. Does he know that person? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god! Pause! 654. What? Did that ox just himself? Sorry, I don't know if I can say that. Did that ox just run alive himself? <sighs> yeah. Was it panicked? Was it possessed? Did it just run over the side of the mountain? That that does appear to be what it what it just did. Whoa. Who the hell are these people? Not the ox! Man, I'm a sucker for animals, man! Whoa. That ox- uh, I have a feeling like the ox threw itself off the, uh, the mountain because it feared those people more than imminent falling down. But based on what? I don't know, man, but Ruyard and, uh, and Eris are, are frozen stiff. Not Which really. is weird, because, like, how did Eris sense she's not magical? Like, Ruyard has his, like, superb mm -hmm. diamond eye I'm, thing. I feel like it's a it's a swordsman thing, because that's the thing that Ruyard and Eris share that Rudius does not. And also, a big, giant fucking sense lame. of staying in fucking lame. My whole entire business. Wow. Yo, throw that guy off the fucking side of the mountain. Fuck this guy. Yeah. yeah. Fuck this guy. Play. 6.55. I'm bothered. Weird Superdia. How do you know his name? Can he not see this guy's future? Because he couldn't use his eye. But they're not, I was like, they're not looking at him. I wasn't supposed to meet you here. Why? Why? No. Why are you talking to him? I'm not supposed to take stuff from the strangers. My dad said so. Very wise of your dad, Georgie. Very wise indeed.
No. Stop talking. About Shut it. up! Sorry, you guys. I think it just like spit. Orsted. Orsted. Be happy or not knowing that. Shut up! Move on with your day! Yet. Why are you just telling him your biography? Paul shouldn't have a son. This man is very... What's the word? Omniscient. Prescient? 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 Prescient or omniscient. I'm not sure. But you know Eris. You know Ruiard. But you're not supposed to meet them yet. He's got like scales around his eyes. Why are you still talking? Based on what? Based on you. You talk too much. No, it doesn't. Not shit. What the fuck? Wait, Whoa. pause. He saw him. He saw him attack and he saw that he... But was... wait, the first time he looked at the guy and tried to use his, like, foreshadowing eyeball magic, he couldn't see anything. The guy just, like, kind of statically blurred a little bit. But this time, he saw the guy move perhaps, and where he went to put his hand. So then perhaps it's because when he used his sight on Orsted the first oh, time... Orsted wasn't moving. Orsted wasn't moving. Or Orsted wasn't intending to move. So when he stared at him, all he saw was Orsted standing still because that's what Orsted was doing in the foreseeable future. Wow. But then that changed when he made a move. Very curious. Okay. We ready? Yeah, let's do it. I'm sorry. 9-12. Yes. Okay. Ruyard seems to be struggling. An apostle. Whoa. We've never seen Ruyard get- Whoa! Yo, he's landing oh, blows. Oh, that was a body kidney shot. He is landing blows. Whoa. <gasps> That's his diaphragm. Holy shit. And then his temple. God. What just happened? That was too fast. He just laid Ruyard out. They yo. were blurs, my dude. He just laid Ruyard out. <sighs> that is not good for you, my dude. This music is so intense. Yeah. I think we're getting closer to the beginning of the episode. Not my man, you bitch! <laughs> oh! Well, that explains how she got crumpled. You've improved. You love it. Have you been watching her? What was that? Would he just like transmute his stomach? He hit him with just a tiny fraction. Of what? His power. And he's coming after the man god. Wait. Dragon I'm god. I'm trying to keep doing this. I have a question. Let me Dragon god like the name on the rock? Or dragon god... Like the one that the man god said was all about the reincarnation shit. Oof, that is a good question. So, if this is the if this is the dragon god, the number two, yeah, behind the number two below the technique god. If this is that guy, then he's on the Stella, and that makes sense. But he's obviously got a grudge against the man god, yeah. and the man god had mentioned the dragon god. I would say based on the information that we have now. This guy is one and the same. He is both the number two fighter in the world, or or however that's, you know, ranked. And also, he is the guy that is 
more trick more tricksy with uh with reincarnation as opposed to the man god. So then according to the man god. I have a question because it's the only way I can think of as like a man a means of analoging mm-hmm. what we're talking about. So I'm gonna refer back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. If you have not seen that, skip ahead a little bit. We're gonna put a chapter so that, you know, no spoilers for those who haven't seen that show. But if Dragon God Orsted is the name on the rock, as opposed to like a literal deity, is he kind of like the dwarf in the flask who wants to kill or consume God? Mm-hmm. Like, would the Dragon God Orsted want to kill the man god who is an actual deity does that make sense it it seems that he wants to alter reality in some form or fashion but he seems to know reality he he does seem to know all that is we don't know that he knows all that's going on but he certainly knows all the goings on of ruiard and Eris, but not rudius interesting now if i remember correctly from what he just said, if I'm if I'm understanding the implication, Rudius is an unknown quantity yes. because Paul was not supposed to have a son. Paul was not supposed to have a son, and the man god told Rudius, "I'm not responsible for your reincarnation. I'm not responsible for you having the memories of your past life and into this life." The dragon god's more likely. The dragon god's more likely, but the dragon god doesn't. But we're assuming that this is the same dragon god that the man god was talking about. We are making that assumption. Because if there's a a dragon god deity and a dragon god warrior, those are different. Yes. Uh, But it seems. There's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot to unpack here. Do we want to keep going and get more data? Yes. All right, let's do it. Play. 11 minutes on the dot. What just happened? She's gonna go for it. She's trying to heal. Or f- oh, she's trying to call a fireball. She doesn't have enough Lana. She tried though. She sure did. Oh, Rudy is getting a little creative. He just mixed them. Um, he heated up the. Yeah. I don't know, did he? He just used air to like lift himself? Yes. Disturbed magic. It's fascinating how they use English for the spell. He got some space. Whoa! Whoa. Yo, he's. Rudius is giving it all. Is that, was that like hollow purple? Hot flame. I don't know if there's purple flame that's like hotter than blue flame, but I know that blue flame is the oh, yeah. hottest. Wow. What a strike. A worm gate. Are those like the word gates from Celtic mythology? Yo, whatever he's doing, he's crap. Are they going like toe to toe right now? He might be on par with Laplace. Why aren't you just the young prodigy? just killed a kid. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn! I just had a fucked up thought. Pause. Don't leave me meow. Don't leave me meow. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of Don't here. Don't leave me meow. <laughs> I'll never let you go, Jack Meow. Oh, okay. 
play. 1334. <laughs> He's really focused on, uh, on fucking. Mm -hmm. How old are they at this point? Uh, I would assume thir that um, Rudy is 13, because two years would then put him at 15 as yeah. an adult. And that was his metric for uh, Eris and Roxy. Mm. Now she is. Yeah, she is crawling to him. Ghislaine! Aww. Her grandfather's dead! <sighs> Any damn body. Maybe. Fucking cliffhanger. Maybe he's <gasps> what? Are we back to the truth? We're back to the man god. Ooh. Hey. Hi. So perky. I know. It's so fascinating. Like, he doesn't see himself as young Rudeus, but he has the hole in his chest. I'm a little under the weather, bro. He went straight for the heart. Mm -hmm. That is a good question. Yeah. He is the wicked dragon god. Uh, that seems a little black and white. Is he the literal god or is he a god warrior? Like a god class. Are you a good witch? Or a bad witch? Oh, so. Dragon God is obscured. That is prisoner's feature. That sucks. What kind of spell is that? Oh! It's a curse! Cursed children? So we have blessed children. And cursed children. Three, Three other, other curses. curses. All right, Kenjaku. Jeez. Yeah. So that's two curses. Man, God can't see him, and he's he hated feared. and feared. Wow. So we've got at least two other curses we do not know about. So that fear is why the oxen killed himself or unalived itself. Yeah. No, you didn't. Got you standing right here now. Well, you had told him. Yeah, the spears. What? Oh! What? So he was able to, like, get out of his curse. I don't know. It has done good. Don't say that. Interesting. Hmm. Was that place a superb, or did he just happen to have green hair? I get the feeling that Laplace was a superb. Or actually, I don't know. Maybe he just ruled over the superbs. Well, that's good. Hard work will get him going somewhere. No, bro. Neither nor me. I want to know how old Orsted is. One of the seven great powers. You couldn't. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't. Nah. So they are the same. They are the same. Are they the same? Yes. Orsted is number two. Technique God is number one. And he is also the wicked dragon god. Confirmed. 
So he's like a god that's in himself. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Ooh. What a critical thinker. Plot twist, they're brothers. Well, aren't you just a pragmatist? Very chill. death, but... <laughs> yeah. Oof. How can I pass on at a time like this? Have you seen the economy? Lucky son of a gun. Well, that's plot armor like a motherfucker. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe he's... What? Yo, he's still out. Oh, he's gonna go for the hell of a headache. Mm-hmm. Oh, he wants a hug. Oh, the most lackluster punch. Oh, poor Ares. She thought she lost him. Baby. Yeah. Baby. <gasps> what? That's an episode. Oh, eat a dick. I had a feeling sometime around uh, the man god scene we were about to get to be continued. Wow. Yo, there was so much to that. The fuck? Orsted, the dragon god, kind of a piece of shit. Yeah, he, yeah, he sucks. Um, got a grudge against the man god. Nanahoshi. His secretary assistant, assassin He's bodyguard. He's plus one. His I don't think he needs a bodyguard. No. His chaperone. Wow. <sighs> Yo. I'm just like... Processing. Yep. What are you doing here in this world, Rudius? Why right? are you talking so much? Yeah, that too. Shut up! Mr. Chatty Cathy over here. Holy shit. I'm shook, you guys. I don't yeah. know that I have anything else to say. I was, I was talking during the episode. I'm, I'm still really stuck on... Why is Rudius here? Mm -hmm. Who... 
Who put the soul from that man in this body? Why do you have memories of a world that does not exist to this world? I'm wondering if someone like fucked up their mouth, like they didn't carry a one, and Rudy just ended up here. It was a it was a problem in shipping, um, <laughs> clerical error. But the man god doesn't know what you're doing here. The dragon god doesn't know what you're doing here. No, everyone's confused. Yeah, maybe maybe you're just the fluke of the universe, you know, unknown quantity X. And oh, you can't call him a mistake. Ah, uh, you know. He's, he's not a mis- Well, it's not Rudeus' mistake that he's alive. It's Paul's <laughs> mistake, but, you know... That's funny. The fact of the matter is, unknown quantity X is wow. here. That's wild. But, oh, yo. So I want to know if there's a relationship between the guy who attacked Ghislaine, Rudeus, and Eris at the mm-hmm. beginning of the first Man of Disaster in Nanahoshi. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm really curious. They they both got the... There's like a style of that mask, but I don't know what the style name is called. But it, it seems like there's there's some sort of connection there, even if they're just, you know, both went to the same school or went to the same conferences or something. It's... I'm trying to think. So, we don't know where Ghislaine is. We haven't no. seen her in a while. Ghislaine or Zenith. We haven't seen... We haven't found Zenith yet. Eris's granddad is dead. Yep. We have no idea about her parents. Yep. Rudius was unalived, but he's back. Yes. Rudier got... Rudier his... got his ass beat. Yo. Rudius got... I never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. Picked. Yep. Um. Wow. I'm ready for the next episode, personally. What yeah, honestly, I, I, I want to dive right in. Um... We've still got two more episodes in the season, and I'm like, yo, t- tell me more, tell me more, tell me more now. Um, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Um, it is how we so, will find your next best friend. Some of y'all been encouraging him, and I'm going to need y'all to take a breath. <laughs> some of y'all been talking about puppets and singing, and I'm going to need y'all to just... Listen. Turn it down. We don't quite have the don't, felt budget yet, but when we do... Don't encourage him and his his shenanigans. We yeah. love you guys. That'll be it for me. That'll be it for me. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Love you.